Moadim Lesimcha, good Moyed, please let's take some tzedak and put it into the pushka. And let's start dancing. Simcha's Beisa Sha'eva, a whole young tiv, every night, we're all busy dancing. Why are we dancing? What's the origin of it? What's the great Simcha? Simcha's Beit Hasha'eva, which means the celebration of water drawing. What's so special about water drawing? In fact, to the point that the Talmud says, Whoever has not seen this celebration, this level of celebration in the temple, has never seen any celebrations. As they say in Yiddish, What's the big celebration? I'm a schlepped up in Wasser that we're drawing some water. What happened? I'm just give you the practical details, as the Talmud in Sukkot tells us. That the Levim, the Levites, and the Kohanim would draw water from the Shiluach stream, and then it was poured over the Mizbeach, over the altar, in a special ceremony. Usually there would be Nisuchayayin. With every sacrifice, you always had to pour wine. On Sukkot, we poured water. What happened? There was uh, not enough wine, a shortage of wine, so we took water. And this was accompanied with trumpet blasts, singing and dancing. The Gemara says, great scholars would do all kinds of acts, acrobatic acts. They would juggle and they would uh, just no hold simcha, no limited. Today, in fact, as the Rebbe has established and encouraged that it's be practiced all over the world. There are simchas besashoeva celebrations anywhere and everywhere, in the streets, in the shuls, and then mainly in the street. And as the rabbi says, we have to dance in such a way that the whole street is dancing. Now, let's understand a little bit what is the great happiness about drawing water. Now, obviously, this relates to our service of Hashem. There's the way we serve God with wine, and there's the way we serve God with water. Water, ba- wine, excuse me, is basically tasty, enjoyable. I'm not much of a wine connoisseur, but if we just see the different amounts and types of wines we have and the prices, obviously it has a special taste. Taste also refers to a reason. In fact, in Hebrew, taste is called tam. Tam has two meanings, taste and reason. They go together. Just like when we eat something that has a good taste, we ingest it, we take it, it becomes part of us, and we enjoy it. The same thing is also when we enjoy something that we studied, we finally understood it, it gives us great pleasure. So that's the wine serving of Hashem. Serving God with understanding the meaning of mitzvah and deriving pleasure from what we're doing. Water, as we know, is tasteless. Although there's a huge industry of water, but it's still tasteless. In fact, Allah says that if one drinks water, not when he's thirsty, simply because, let's say, he has to swallow a pill, if it's tasteless water, don't make a bracha, because it doesn't have any pleasure. If he's thirsty, then pleasure we derive pleasure from it, because it quenches the thirst. So water represents a tasteless experience, meaning doing mitzvahs, not because we understand the beauty, the meaning, the benefit, etc., the deep reasoning behind it. No, we don't understand. Why are we doing it? as we call it in Hebrew, Kabbalah's oil. Simply we are accepting the yoke, the commandment of God. God said so, so therefore I just do it. How does Nike say? Just do it. We do it because it is the right thing to do because this is what God wants. And not because I derive any specific appreciation or pleasure or understanding. No. Simply obeying a command. At this level of commitment to Hashem, 
the pleasure of fulfilling mitzvahs exceeds the satisfaction of the rational approach. Because if we do it with a rational approach, it depends on my understanding. But if it is with total selfless devotion, then there is no limit. And that's what the Torah tells us. Comes on Sukkot. After binding all the different individualities, we have to put everything aside. It's not about me. It's about serving God. And this is the greatest Simcha. And with this Simcha, may we pray that in Yitzhak tonight, we should dance in the base of Mikdash with Mashiach.